Hello, everyone. The service will begin in a moment, but uh, right now I'd like to announce uh, coming November 2nd, uh, we're going to be celebrating the Feast of All Souls. And it's generally a day of the year that we remember those of our loved ones that have passed and gone to their great reward. Uh, I am asking now if there are any who would like to uh, have their na the names of uh, their loved ones remembered on that day uh, to uh, let me know. Uh, email me at uh, robert underscore short at live.ca or to leave, just leave them in the comment section of the video that you're watching at the time. And I will make sure that they are remembered on All Souls Day in our services that we do here at uh, Common Prayer Day by Day. Uh, if there are any of you who'd like to uh, donate um, to help uh, uh, keep this ministry going, uh, please um, let me know uh, through an email or comment in, this, in the comment section of the, uh, of the video. And I will um, help you with that. And um, any, any help that uh, you can give will be much, very much appreciated. Again, uh, at this time, I would just uh, like to remind you to uh, subscribe, like, and to share. Um, and let us let people know that uh, that we are here, and uh, maybe they too can uh, enjoy this as well. Okay, bye for now. God bless. Hello, everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank you for joining us today here at Camp Common Prayer Day by Day for the offices that you are just about to uh, partake in. I would ask that you subscribe to our channel and that you would click on the little bell button there by the subscribe button to get notifications of when I do post the morning or evening prayer. One last favor I would ask is that that you would share us with your friends and those who you think may enjoy this uh, online daily devotional. And maybe we can all become a sort of a church online, a community online. So again, don't forget, subscribe. Okay, bye for now. God bless. Open thou our mouths to praise thy holy name. Cleanse also our hearts from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten our understanding and kindle our affections, that we may say this office with attention and devotion, and so be made to be heard in the presence of thy divine majesty. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Good morning, everyone. This morning's service is the service of morning prayer for Thursday, the 18th week after Trinity, also the, Saint, uh, the uh, feast day of St. Francis of Assisi. And our service begins on page 6 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race which is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our soul. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall show forth a praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The, the Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us worship. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. 
let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepare the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they shall not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us worship. Our hymn chosen for this morning's service is hymn number 210, 210. If thou hast the skill to reckon all the number of the blessed, Thou perchance canst weigh the gladness of the everlasting rest, which their earthly exile finished, they forever have possessed. Through the veil of lamentation, safely passed forevermore, to the Savior that redeemed them, these redeemed ones praises pour, and the monarch that rewards them, these rewarded saints adore. Oh, what splendor, oh, what beauty lightens round the happy place. Where amid the blessed legions, who have triumphed by his grace, stands the Lord's own virgin mother, gazing on her Savior's face. In that joy the angel cohort, and the saints that fill the skies, and the apostolic chorus, and the martyr sympathize, and all saintly men and women, bend on Christ's adoring eyes. In a glass, though types and shadows, Dwelling here we see alone, then serenely, purely, clearly, we shall know as we are known, fixing our enlightened vision on the glory of the throne. There the Trinity of persons Unbeclouded we shall see, there the unity of essence, 
perfectly we revealed shall be. While we hail the threefold Godhead and the simple unity. Amen. The psalm appointed for this morning's service is Psalm number 22, verses 1 through to 21. The Psalm 22 is, from, is found on beginning on page 354, 354. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And art so far from my help and from the words of my complaint. O my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not. And in the night season also I take no rest. And thou continuest holy, O thou worship of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted in thee, and thou didst deliver them. They called upon thee and were saved. They put their trust in thee and were not confounded. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, a very scorn of men and the outcast of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out their lips and shake their heads saying he trusted in God that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him if he delighteth in him. But thou art he that took me from the womb. Thou wast my hope when I hang yet upon my mother's breasts. I have been left unto thee ever, ever since I was born. Thou art my God, even from my mother's womb. O go not from me, for trouble is hard at hand, and there is none to help me. Many oxen are come about me. Strong bulls of Basham close me in on every side. They gape upon me with their mouths, as it were a ramping and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart also in the midst of my body is even like melting wax. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaveth to my gums. And thou bringest me into the dust of, the de of death, for many dogs are come about me, and the counsel of the wicked layeth a third siege against me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I may count all my bones. They stand staring and looking upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not thou far from me, O Lord. Thou art my succor, haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, and my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, Thou hast heard me also from among the horns of the, of the wild oxen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first lesson is written in the book of the prophet Ezra. Chapter 
chapter 1, beginning at the first verse. Now in the first year of Cyprus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he might be, uh, might, uh, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom, and put it also in writing, saying, that Thus saith Cyrus, king of Persia, The Lord God of heaven hath given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he hath changed me to, he had charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Who is there among you of all his people? His God be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of the Lord God of Israel. He is the God which is in Jerusalem. And whosoever remaineth in any place where he sojourn, let the men of his place help him and with silver, and with gold, and with goods, and with beasts, beside the free will offering for the house of God and he, and that is in Jerusalem. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and the Levites with all them whose spirit God hath raised to go up to build the house of the Lord which is in, which is in Jerusalem. And all they that were about them strengthened their hands with vessels of silver, with gold, with goods, and with beasts, and with precious things beside all that was willingly offered. Also Cyrus the king brought forth the vessels of the house of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar had brought forth out of Jerusalem, and had put them in the house of his gods. Even those did Cyrus king of Persia bring forth by the hand of the Merithredite, the treasurer, and numbered them with Shish Bazar, the prince of Judah. And this is the number of them, thirty chargers of gold, a thousand chargers of silver, nine and twenty knives. Thirty basins of gold, silver basins of, of a second sword, four hundred and ten, and then other vessels, a thousand. All the vessels of gold and of silver were five thousand and four hundred. All these did Shishbazar bring up with them of the, out of, uh, the, out of, with them of the captivity, that were brought up from Babylon into Jerusalem. Here endeth the first lesson. Continuing now on page 7 with the Dedan. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee, cherubim and seraphim continually do cry. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty thine honorable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God, in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. 
make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. <coughs> Our second lesson is written in Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 1, beginning at the first verse. Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus, unto the church of the Thessalonians, and God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are bound to thank God always for you, dear brethren, as it is meet, because that your faith groweth exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth, so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of God for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and, and tribulations that ye endure, which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God, that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which ye also suffer. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, and to you who are troubled rest with us where the Lord Jesus shall be re revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. And they obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power when he shall come to be glorified in his saints, and to be admitted in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Wherefore also we pray always for you, that our God would count you worthy of this calling, and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. That the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and ye in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Here endeth the second lesson. Continuing now on page 9 with the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham, that he would grant us, that we, being delivered of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, 
through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high has visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From them she shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully help us when we, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endure thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Almighty God, who willest to be glorified in thy saints, and didst raise up thy servant Francis, to shine as a light in the world. Shine, we pray thee, in our hearts, that we also in our generation may show forth thy praises, who has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we surely trusting in thy defense may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty, everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings be ordered by thy governance, to what to do to always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech thee to bless our sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, the parliaments of the commonwealth, and all who are set in authority under her, that they may order all things in wisdom, righteousness, and peace, to the honor of thy holy name, and the good of thy church and people, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, Send down upon our bishops and clergy and all congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual jewel of thy blessing. 
Grant us, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially we pray for the good of the state of the Catholic Church, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold a faith in the unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend thy fatherly goodness, all those who are any ways afflicted or distressed, in mind, body, or estate. Beverly, Jim, Father Jack, Father Jude, Father William, Elizabeth, Terence, that it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their suffering and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, to give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee to give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be all faithfully thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to thy servants, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom of thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and thus promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant the requests. Fulfill now, Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all evermore. Amen. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today in the office that you had just watched. If you, or anyone you know, think that you may would like to join a more traditional Anglican Church and the, and the use of the Book of Common Prayer and that you come to love so much as I do, well, there is in Canada the Anglican Catholic Church of Canada. If you look online under the Anglican Catholic Church of Canada, you will find us there. And in the, there, there's a parish and parishes and missions um, a list of uh, right across the country. And you can go to look to find a parish closest to you. And again, at this time, I would encourage you to subscribe and to share us on your social media. Okay, bye for now. God bless.